In this episode, we first bind a simple dress to a developer kit character, and then optimize the dress for animation. You probably have a simple item similar to this dress here at hand, and I also assume that you already have loaded your item into your scene. Now let's select the Bayer Savinus character as the target mesh. Of course you also can choose any other developer kit character instead. Like for example the Ava mesh character, or even the plain Ava star figure. Both will be working for this tutorial as well. Okay, so let's begin with adjusting the dress to the body. But hold on, let me take this as an opportunity to show you a nice little trick. It is about increasing the face density around a single point, while keeping the overall mesh topology unchanged. First, switch to face select mode. Then select the faces around the point where you want to increase the face density. Let's do this also on the other side of the mesh. Then call the insert function by pressing the I key, and adjust the new faces as needed. Now let's make the upper part of the dress fully symmetric to make our life a bit easier. We can symmetrize the mesh as follows. Select the upper part of the dress. Then open the Avastar toolbox. And call the button for symmetrizing the selected vertices. Please note that this is actually a pure blender function that you also can activate from the mesh menu. Finally, open the blender mesh options box, and make sure that the X mirror option is enabled. From now on we can work on one side of the mesh, while all symmetric vertices on the other side follow automatically. Well the cleaning may take a bit, so I have enabled the time lapse here. Ok, that should be good for the begin, so now it is time to bind the mesh. Select the mesh in object mode, and shift select the armature. In the Avastar skinning panel, set the weight option to, meshes. Now you can bind to armature. Ok. Let's check if our mesh is already fit for animation. Well, here is another opportunity to show you a nice little trick, that is, using the timeline for checking and editing the mesh. Make sure you have the mesh selected. And make sure your timeline is on frame 0. Now open the Avastar settings panel. And select the skin and weight workflow preset. Select the armature. You can do his best by using the outliner window. Now make sure the armature is in pose mode, then select all bones. Keyframe the bones by pressing I, and then choose rotation. Now move the timeline to frame 80. Then rotate the hips by plus minus 40 degree. 
Select all bones, then keyframe all bones as before by pressing I, and choose rotation. Now you can modify the pose by scrubbing the timeline. And the good news is, this also works when you are in mesh edit mode. So let's see, what happens with the dress. We see the dress gets stretched a lot when the legs are rotated. This is also true when the avatar makes a big step forward instead of spreading the legs sidewards. Well, we can fix this by first adding extra loops. And then adjusting the weight maps. So let's begin by setting the timeline back to frame 0. Then select the dress in edit mode. And select two edges on the center of the stomach. Select the related edges on the back as well. Hide the selected edges by pressing H. Now you can use Ctrl R to add four new edge loops as follows. And hide the hidden edges by pressing Alt H. Press K and cut some more edges. You can dissolve the vertical edges in the center if you like. Now select the front and back part in mesh edit mode. Move the timeline to frame 80 to see how the mesh stretches. We see there are enough edge loops available, but they have wrong weights. This will be our final fix for now, and yet another opportunity to show you a nice little trick about weighting. So open the Blender Vertical Tools bar. Then open the Blender Weight Tools panel. Now select the Smooth tool, then adjust the settings in the Operator Redo panel. Now we are ready to export the mesh. Select the dress in object mode. Then open the Colada exporter as follows. File, Export, Colada. Take care to use the Avastar exporter here and not the Blender exporter. Select your export file name, and make sure that you export with bind pose. This option actually should be already set. However let's check this to be sure. Open the advanced options. Make sure the use bind pose option is enabled. You need to enable this option because the Bayesa kit was made with an A rest pose. And we want the exporter to preserve this pose as bind pose. And that is exactly what this option does. So we are now at the end of this video. In the next video you will take a closer look at some special areas like the shoulders and the hips. Until then, do your own experiments, and have fun.